Hi, welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is AB Abra. Today, uh, we are just going to learn how to do uh, how to design a book cover uh, exercise book cover. So today, I'm not that feeling well. As you can see, my voice has really changed. So I just want us to fast forward everything, then we can get everything clear. So today, just keep watching to also learn how to design the book cover the exercise book cover so that you can also use it in your daily works and those kind of things so i have a detail software here and today we are going to design this book cover based on a, a footballer baba raman yes so i just got this information and uh, all what we need to do to get started and so first of all let me just open my distance we will see a brief history about him and then we just uh, wrap up with everything with all this information so let's just go to our photoshop and let's get it done so first of all this is my photoshop and i'm just create, i'm just going to create a document or a size of cover over here and that is what i'm going to use for everything so after we have something like this over there like i'm creating a new document so i'll head over to my this thing and then i'll change this one to inches and then this one i'll call it uh, uh baba baba exercise book yes and over here i'm going to make it uh, 14.37 and then over here I'll make it 9.45 and then the resolution should be 300 that would be okay for me and she, it should be in landscape form and that ends the problem then I'll create a document then when I create a document the next thing again I have to do is to create my guidelines over here so over here I'm just going to fast forward the way creating the design as we already do 1% here, 1% here, 1% top, 1% down that's all and then I have a uh, the distance over here so first of all let me just create a, a this uh, vertical line which is going to be a separate uh, that separate the front cover and the back cover which is going to be 50% over here just like that yes and the next thing again I have to do is to <coughs> I'm sorry is to also create the 1% this thing over here just like that okay and the next thing you're going to have to do is to create 1 minus 100, which is 99. So I'm going to create 99 percent over here, over there. And then I'll also create the other one, which is going to be horizontally. So I'm just going to have 1 percent over here. And then the next thing you're going to have to do is to create another one, which is going to be 99 percent, just like this. Okay. Yes. And the next thing you're going to have to do, the book is supposed to be separated so that the edges of it will be looks beautiful so over here I'm going to put uh, this should be vertically and I'm going to use 51% uh, over there 51% just like this over there and that one should be somewhere here and the next thing again I have to do is to create another one which is going to be 49% uh, over there just like that and then I can have it just like this so 41 is for this, 50 is for this, and 51 is for that. And the bottom, the bottom and the top and the left and the distance should be 1%, 1%. That ends the problem. So the next thing you're going to have to do is to create up, is to come up with a background. Then we cannot start designing the front and the back cover. So first of all, I'm just going to create a, a shape from here. I'm going to pick the ellipse tool over here. Then I'm going to draw something like this over there, just like that. You get that? Yes. So when I have something like this, I just want it to be somewhere here, somewhere like this over here, just like that. And I'm going to duplicate it by Control G, and then I'll move that one a little bit out. Yes, and that one should be somewhere here. And then when I'm going to, go to change the color to be white, and the next thing I'm going to have to do is to create another one, and then and that one I'll make the color to be this particular color, which is blue. So I'll hold control, I'll hold a uh, shift control, and then I'll just pull that one to out just like that over there. You get that, yes, and I'll have it just like that. And then I'll group all 
and I'll right click and then convert that one to a smart object just like this okay yes and next thing again I have to do is to duplicate it over there and then I'll move that one to somewhere like this over here you get that <coughs> not really well sorry then I'll have it just like this over there and that one should be somewhere like this and then I'll make sure that all is in the middle just like that okay yes and that one too I'm going to right click and then convert that one to a smart object and that one I can put it somewhere top just like that and then over there I'm just going to duplicate it just like that and then I'll bring that one to the bottom over here and then I'll, I'll, I'll just click on the line on this and then I'll right click and then uh, uh, flip it uh, vertically so that the shape will come out just like that and I'll have it just like this over there just like that okay then I can have it just like this yes so there is the borders all this should be uh, appeared over there and the next thing I can have to do is to start designing the the front yes so this can be the shape over there and then the next thing I'm going to do is to put up a color over there and that particular color I'm just going to use uh, I'm just going to use let me use a gradient color over there so that it will do something different so yes so I'm going to use this particular gradient color then I'll click OK so in all this we come up with the <coughs> we come up with the background just like this and should be down there just like that okay so this is what I'll have here so the next thing I can have to do is to start designing the front cover over there yes just like that so <coughs> the next thing I can have to do is to go and import in an image over there and that one I'm going to use his 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 image over here and I'm going to just get this particular image over there then that one should be the front uh, the front cover the front cover yes then i'll have it just like this and i'll move it somewhere like this over there and the next thing again i have to do is just let it in line with the the lines over there so that it will look so beautiful for me just like this okay yes yes then i can have it just like that over there so the next thing again i have to do is to come out with the uh, this thing just like that and i'll make sure that i let it be somewhere here just like that okay yes it should be somewhere that I like this over there okay and then i'll go to my properties and just move the edges a little bit so that it will be rounded just like that okay and then i'll make sure that i do what i create a clipping mask in so that it will go inside that particular edition over there so let me just move this one over there and then this one should be somewhere here like this over there and then at the top there i should make sure that all things are equal in that particular distance yes then i'll have it just like this and then over this particular distance, i'll just move that one to the top a little bit so that it will it will go inside there without any problem yes so over there we are going to start from the top to the bottom then we have something like this then we open up Ghana schools. I'm just going to copy Ghana schools over there. Then I'll paste it on that particular distance, just like that. Yes, I'll have it just like that. And that one, I'll make sure that it comes to the top of the distance. And then I'll increase my size a little bit to somewhere 18. Let me increase it to more. Yes, then I can have it just like that over there. <coughs> Let's see, 30. Okay. So I think that you will, will be okay for me and then that one I'll just align it just to be like this over there okay yes and the next thing again I have to do is to come out with the is to come and copy it, the exercise book over here copy the exercise book over there then I'm just going to do what to paste it over here just like that okay yes and then I'll make sure that that one too is somewhere like this over there and then I'll go to FX then I'll come to what I'll come to stroke so I'm going to add a stroke to it and then it will look so beautiful for me and then I'll come to color before I do the stroke so over there I'm going to change the color to somewhere color like this or let me see okay like this is okay for me and I'll come to stroke over here then I'll change the stroke to what to white yes the stroke should be white and the position should be outside then I can just increase my stroke like that 
then I'll come to drop shadow over there then I'm just going to drop a shadow over there so that it will appear very well for me yes so let me just increase the distance and then <coughs> and then I'll make sure that it pull it to the top just like that we can still make changes to it as we go on so we can have something like this over there the next thing you're gonna have to do is to come and pick a rectangular tool over here then I'm just going to draw something like this over there and this is what I'm going to use for the this thing yes so I'll have it just like that and then I'll change the color to what to white I want it to be white just like this over there and then I'll make sure that I move the edges a little bit so that it will look somehow rounded not that straight forward then I'll have it just like this over there okay and then the next thing I'm gonna have to do with that particular shape I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit so that it will look like the part of the body is coming out just like that and then I'll just head over and come and pick copy this particular design over there just like that and then I'll copy that one yes and then the next thing I'm gonna have to do is to paste that one too over there just like that yes and then I'll make sure that I move it to somewhere like this over there inside the distance so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to change the color to black and then I can do that adjustment yes so I'll have it just like this over there and then I'll reduce the sizes to somewhere a little bit so that everything can end up very very well inside it yes so I can have something like this over there yes so I'm just going to make it wide, wide up so that the, 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 when any person who receives this particular uh, this thing can also read very well so I can have it just like this over there and then I'll make sure that I move this one to a little bit to go in and just like that and then I can have it just like this so they can read they can they can put on their name their subject school and date over there so let me just save my work for this for the, because anything can happen through the, the process so I can have something like this over there and then this one I can make sure that I'll a semi bold let me just make it somewhere bold and see what will happen over there yes so i'll have it just like this so that it will appear very very well for me then i can have it just like that okay the next thing again gonna have to do is to head over to here and then i'll click on this particular this thing over here shouldn't be that big but let me see how we can do that and then over there i'm just going to change the color to red it should be red over there just like that okay then I can have it just like this. The next thing again I have to do is to come and copy it straightly, not for sale over there, just like that. I'm just going to copy that particular one and then I'll just come and paste that one too over here, just like this. Yes, and I'm going to reduce the size to somewhere 14 and that one will be okay for me. Then it should be somewhere like this over here. Let me reduce the size a little bit here. Yes, then I can have it just like that. And then it should be somewhere like this and I'll change it to medium just like that over there sorry okay so I'll have it somewhere like this over there straight to next person okay then I'll have it just like that so over this particular, I'm just going to hold control and one side of it, I'm just going to drag it just like this, yes, and then that will be okay for me, then I click okay, yes, so we have just come to the end of the distance, so the next thing I'm going to have to do is to head over to this place where I'll come and copy it, uh, Baba Raman over here, I'm just going to copy that one over there then i'll head over over here and then i'll just come and paste that name over there just like that okay then i'm just going to break it uh, together like this and then i'll make sure that i align it selected it should be selected like this and then the next thing again i have to do is to increase the size a little bit so that it can appear very very well for that yes then i can have something like this over there then the next thing again i have to do is to highlight only the barber and then I'll increase the size so that it will be a little bit bigger than the Rama over there just like that and then I can have it just like that over there 
and then the next thing I can have to do is to make it a little bit so that the, the wideness can just fit up over there you get, so you just have to keep doing this to just get the best this thing over there then I can have it just like that and the next thing I can have to do is to come and copy it donated bar and that one I'm just going to copy paste it somewhere like this over there <coughs> and then I can have it just like that then I'm going to reduce the size a little bit so that it will go you know like this for the from then I can have it just like this you can see it's not coming out very very well so what you really need to do when you have a situation like this you just need to come and pick a tool over here a, a rectangular tool over there then you draw something under that particular name just like that and then you can change the color to any color so i'm going to use black over there just like that and then i'll reduce the opacity a little bit so that it will come out very very well for me and then i can make it rounded fine yes then i can have it just like this over there so that that one too can appear very very well then you save your work as you are doing yes so as you can see all this information has fill up that particular portion which is the front cover just like that over there without any problem so the next thing you're gonna have to do is to come to the the second the second page which is going to be like a back cover and i'm going to pick a rectangular tool over there then i will draw something like this over there it's just in the middle it should be in the middle just like that okay so that it will cover this particular place over there just like that okay that yes then i can have it just like this so the next thing you're gonna have to do is to head over to this particular distance then i can come and pick the this number here which is brief history so the brief history i'm just going to put that one on top just like that <coughs> put that one too on top just like that and that one size should be 14 then i'll let it be somewhere here just like that and that one should also should be selected yes should be selected on that particular page and then I'll head over to the, this particular list and then I can copy the whole story. You know, the story is too broad and those kind of things, but we just have to manage that. So I'm just going to pick my text the text tool over here. Then I'll, I'm just going to draw like this. I want all the text to be inside this thing. For the, but for the tutorial sake, I may just uh, try and make it a little bit small. Uh, so I can have it just like that so that everyone can understand the whole thing <coughs> yes so uh, over this particular place I'm just going to make it auto just like that so that everything can is like here so when I come to paragraph and I'll have it left aligned paragraph just like that over there and then the size to I'll have to make it somewhere tall so that everything can appear very very well for me yes so when i have something like this over there you can even if the person is still insisting that you should add more things then you just have to make it somewhere uh, uh, 10 even 8 or 6 yes so that everything can appear for the person but when it is 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 open up you can see that it will look nice when after printing it will look so nice for there and then nothing will happen to that particular thing then you can have it just like that over there you get that yes so the next thing again after you have to do is that you have to think that the person who is going to take the book is going to be a student and the person needs a thumbs table so i'm just going to place in i just downloaded a thumbs table then you can also check from that distance and then you can get all the time table you need over there then you just take it somewhere like that over there and then the person too can also like to know the new history the new uh, Ghana regions and those kind of things then you have to paste that one too over there just like that I am too fast because I am not feeling well so I just want to want you to see the concept if you have any problem I can walk you over again so you can have something like this over there just like that okay as you can see you can see that because of the broad store over here it take over everything so you just have to take your time and work around the text and those things so that it won't take much of your time yes uh, you see like this it will be very difficult to read but because they are insisting you just have to make it that way because maybe they may not need uh, more of the story to appear or 
they just uh, one is a broad story like this so you just have to take your time and then make it very very good for them yes so you have to consider your paragraph and you have to consider everything how it will appear for the reader to also get a uh, everything on that you have to just try out all your possible ways to let this thing done so over this particular this particular this thing over here i'm just going to drag it up so that i can have it uh, appear very nicely so that they can also read you can also add baba around pictures if the story is too small and all that but if the pictures are not too small and all that you just have to try all your best to just make it somewhere like this for them so that it will look so beautiful so you can as you can see the paragraph right here is aligned and it's very very good and the paragraph is ends here paragraph and ends here paragraph and ends there yes that looks so beautiful for me so you can check through if you have any problem again then you can check and then if there's no problem again you can just leave it like that so there is just going to be the exercise group that we are going to use and then you can have it like this and after that you can head over and then save your work as jpeg then you save the work as what jpeg over there <coughs> yes then you can have it just like this so there is how SIS has been it has been designed in photoshop with abm graphics yes so thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics and have a nice day bye bye